Hey everyone, so you've put months into building your mobile game, hit publish, and now you're staring at your analytics wondering where all the players are. You're spending money on ads but have no idea if you're actually making money or just burning cash. Sounds familiar? Today I'm going to show you exactly how to track whether a game is profitable using real data from my own game Marina Fever. Here's the thing about mobile games. Most developers have no clue about their unit economics. You might think you're doing great because you're getting installs, but are those users actually making you money? Let me break this down simply. If you run ads campaigns to get users for your mobile games, and if you don't, you probably should, as in today's market it's very difficult to get significant organic installs. So let's say you spend $1 to get a user through ads. That user needs to generate more than $1 back through watching ads in your game or buying in-app purchases so you can make some money. If they don't, you're losing money on every user you get. It's that simple. But here's where it gets tricky. You need to track how much you're using spending on user acquisition ad campaigns. Which users came from paid ads versus organic discovery? How much revenue each user generates over time through ads and purchases in total? your lifetime value versus your cost per install, when, which day, day 7, day 30, day 90, etc., you actually break even and start making profit. Without this data, you're flying blind. Now to track all this properly, you need what's called MMP, a mobile measurement partner. I first heard about MMPs a few years ago and I did my homework trying to understand how much it costs, but I understood at the time it was something too expensive for indie dev like me. So I dropped it at the time, but recently I decided to give it another try. So I decided to test myself with my game Arena Fever. I set up a user acquisition campaign on Meta ads and integrated everything with MMP called Tangent to track the results. And yeah, Tangent is sponsoring this video, by the way. And let me show you what I found. Here's my Meta ads dashboard. You can see I spent about 204 pounds on this campaign and got 2,066 installs. That works out to about 10 pence per install, which seems pretty good, right? And here is my ad mob earnings. I made about $84 in ad revenue during the same period with around 21,000 impressions. But here is the problem. I have no idea if the users who installed my game from ads are the same users generating ad revenue. This is where Tangent comes in. Look at this. Tangent shows me complete picture. I can see that I spent $276 on Marina Fever and generated $84.47 in ad network revenue, plus $47.49 from my in-app purchases. My total revenue is $131.88 against $276 in spend. So even though my CPA looked good at $0.13, cents, by the way, I was targeting Brazil users, my actual return on ad spend on day 7 is only 15%. I'm still losing money, but now I know exactly how much and can make informed decisions about scaling or optimizing. So what is MMP? An MMP connects all your marketing channels like Google Ads, Facebook Ads, TikTok Ads with your app's revenue sources from various monetization methods. It tells you exactly which marketing dollar brought in which user and how much money that specific user generated so you know if you're making money from each user or losing them. And then you take action. Without an MMP, you might see that you spent $1,000 on Facebook Ads and made $800 in total app revenue and you are in $200 loss. The MMP connects these dots and shows you your true return on ad spend. Let me break down these key metrics you see here. CPI or cost per install. This is how much you pay for each app install. Mine was 13 cents for Brazil users. LTV, lifetime value. How much money a user generates over their entire time playing your game, combining the money from in-app purchases and ads user watches. Tangent actually just released LTV prediction with up to 90% accuracy, which is huge for planning. ROS, return on ad spend. For every dollar you spend, how much you get back? Mine is 15%, not great, as it has to be above 100%, as all above 100% is your profit, but at least I know exactly where I stand. ROI, return on investment, your actual profit margin after costs. The magic happens when your lifetime value exceeds your cost per install. That's when you start making money. 
tangent shows me I need users to generate more than 13 cents or to get cheaper users to be profitable, as currently they are generating about 6 cents on average. Now why I'm using tangent specifically? Well, they sponsored this video, but I chose them for several real reasons. First, their pricing is transparent, no hidden fees, no surprise at downs. It's $200 per month for up to 10,000 conversions with an annual contract. In Tangent, a conversion means when a user installs your game after clicking on an ad. That's what they track and count towards your plan. Any organic installs player who find your game naturally through Google Play or App Store are free and don't count against your conversion limit. And they just introduced a cancel anytime option for flexibility. They even have a free plan with 2,000 conversions per month, which is perfect for testing. Second, everything is included. Other MMPs nickel and dime you with add-ons, but Tangent gives you all features up front. LTV prediction, creative analytics, ad monetization dashboard, everything. Third, they are an official meta MMP. Only a handful of companies have this status, which means they can accurately measure meta ad performance without any data loss. And setup was easier than I expected. I thought connecting meta ads, ad mob, and all the attribution would be complex, but their interface makes it pretty straightforward. I can do a separate setup tutorial if you're interested, just let me know in the comments. What I really like is their ad monetization dashboard. It's specifically built for games with ad-based monetization, which most MMPs don't focus on. You can connect ad mob, unity level play, app loving, clever solutions, basically any mediation platform. So what did I actually learn from this test? My gut feelings about profitability were completely wrong. Data shows I'm losing about 85 cents on every dollar spent. That's crucial information. Also, I can see which ad creatives and audience segments perform better. Some of my ads had much better LTVs ratios than others. Now I can double down on what works. The LTV prediction feature is particularly useful. Instead of waiting months to see if a user cohort becomes profitable, Tangent predicts it with 90% accuracy. This means I can optimize campaigns much faster, and honestly just having everything in one dashboard saves me hours every week. Before I was jumping between meta ads, ad mob, app store connect trying to piece together the story, now it's all connected. The mobile game market is tough right now, budgets are tight and you need to prove revenue of investment fast. Tools like Tangent lower the barrier to get proper measurement in place. If you're serious about making money from your games, you need this level of tracking. You can start with their free plan to test it out, or if you're running significant UA campaigns, the $200 monthly plan gives you everything with no actual commitment required. The key takeaway here is that making a profitable mobile game is not about gut feelings or hoping for the best. It's about having the data to make smart decisions. Whether you use Tangent or another MMP, you absolutely need this level of measurement. I'll put the links to Tangent down in the description and let me know in the comments if you'd like a detailed setup tutorial. Also, what metrics do you track for your games? Are you profitable or are you in the same boat as me, learning as you go? Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.